All right, this is Barry Miller, uh, BA Miller Woodwork. I'm here with the uh, Armor Tool Auto Jig. Got this whole set. It came with these screws and uh, this. I'll tell you about the clamps here in a little bit, but this thing's pretty neat. Um, got your holes here, and this one can be turned around if you need it turned around for more narrow. But got your drill bit here. It's got his collet on it. And all you have to do, put your wood in. I'm just making a little nest here for my uh, plug cutters and things. Pull it back. Okay, it's set. Now, keep your eye on this right here. Pull it. Okay, now take your Allen wrench here. Done everything one-handed so far. Tighten that up. Put your Allen wrench back on. And I'm probably going to put a magnet on there where I can just pull it on and off real quick. So now let's set. Your depth is right. So you just go ahead and get that in the drill. And then it's got dust collection. And i got to turn my dust collector on because... Now, I would just normally leave that running until I got all the holes cut, and that's actually all the holes I need at the moment but just to make this video. So now, we can look here on the side. There's a depth gauge, and these screws are all color-coded. It'll tell you which one we need. This is three-quarter. It says we need yellow. I call that brown, but they call it yellow. It comes with this. You just take this tab off right here, and uh, then you can open it. But then we've got this bag, so I'm just going to use these for now. The the bags that come with them. Put that back on. Take these out. You know, and I still have from the old uh, Craig deal. See all that? Woo! The Craig, and I've been using the Craig screws so far because I've got them and you can use them. You can use any screw you want to. It'll tell you the length for for what we're working with. This is three quarter and it tells you you need the inch and a quarter screw. And then it says right here, inch and a quarter, it says on your box there, inch and a quarter. Two of them. <clears throat> now, we got the drill out. Also came with the bit. And uh, got the bit. Let's just take it over here. Uh, kind of the setup I got, I just wrote on them. Doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to hold them. Pop it out of there. One hand. It is plywood, so it kind of gets like that, but that's not going to hurt anything. <clears throat> I'm just guessing, because like I say, it doesn't matter that much. And <clears throat> and get it kind of straight here. There you go. Now, I'll just put these on here, hang it over there. And I can be able to, to see what I've got here, be able to, to pick them up right, you know, and get all those going. Now, let me show you these clamps. These clamps are amazing. Okay. This is a tension adjustment. Okay. Just how, how tight they go on. See here, it's on the plywood. Tight. Put it up here on the two before. No matter how big, how small, it'll do that same tension. Uh, some people have called this jig the 
Craig Killer. I don't know if it's the Craig Killer or not, but I like it better than the Craig Armor Tool. Uh, I mean, this plastic is so much heavier than the plastic on the Craig. Just pull these screws out right here and take it off. There's three. And uh, <clears throat> like I say, you've got all the collars plus um, it tells you down here what uh, what size they are. So, and uh, you just match collar if you want to. And if you want to be like me and use the screws that you've had for a while, you just do that. But I mean, it's one handed operation, basically back set it and cut and that's the armor auto jig uh check them out armor2.com they did not sponsor this i just like it a lot and uh like and share please and we'll see you god bless